What is going on guys, my name is The Benster and welcome back to another Gary's Mod Tool tutorial video. In this one we're going to be looking at the balloon tool. This really isn't that complicated but some might not know it so I'm going to go through it anyway. So you get two very basic sliders with this one. One's called rope length and one's called force. Rope length is very self explanatory. If you have it on low... Oh, hang on. Let's move that up. If you have it on a low rope length then it's short. If you have it on a high rope length it's really high, fairly self explanatory. And then the other one is the force, so it's basically how fast it goes up. So if you have it on 2000, for example, it'll shoot up really quickly. Whereas if you have it on uh, like 60, it'll go really slowly. So depending on what you want to use your balloon for, I guess these would be quite useful. Um, you can also set the force to negative. So if you have it on like negative 400, for example, and you put it on the edge of something it would fall that far I mean I don't really know why you'd want a balloon that did this I, I personally don't see the point of having a balloon that sinks but you, again you might want them hanging from the roof or something and that's how you do it if you want that um, so I'm just going to keep mine on about 200 just less than and my rope length just about the same to be honest um, you can get different types of balloon here so there's a heart, there's a dog shape, there's a star, just a normal balloon, a balloon with a G on, a smiley face, one with a, a face of some description, and then another two faces. I don't really know. I've done one of each so you can see them, so I'll have another, like, a close look at them for you. So there's the heart one, there's the dog one, there's the star, just the normal balloon, the G mod balloon, smiley face balloon, weird face balloon, another weird face balloon, and another weird face balloon. Um, one of the things you can do with the balloons is you can pop them, so you can shoot them and they'll pop like that, so that's always good fun. And they make a rather amusing pop sound. You can't shoot through several ones, which is one thing I did try, because like you would be able to, you'd think you'd be able to shoot through all of them, but you can't, it just pops the single one that you shoot through. Get rid of them. So, there's not a lot of uses for this other than decoration, I'm going to try and do one thing. Um, which should be kind of funny, so I'll be right back once I've built it. Basically what my idea is, is that if you put a balloon on top of something and it has enough pull, so if we increase the force a little bit like that, it'll lift it up. So, see you later coffee machine. So what I'm going to do is try and recreate up, in a sense, and build a little house and cover it in balloons and see if we can get it to fly. So let's do it. What is going on MTV, it's your boy the Benster and welcome to my crib. Okay, so basically what we need to do is just add loads of balloons to the top and see if it's going to fly. I'm going to freeze the bottom just so it sort of stays where it is initially. I'm going to put them on the roof, obviously. Everything's welded together so it should be fine. We're going to use the dog balloons because why not? And we're going to make them green to fit in with my colour scheme. We've got our rope length fine. Yeah, the pull's quite high so that's good. Hopefully it doesn't pull the things off the roof. That would be great. I'm not sure how many of these we're going to need. I would expect a fair few because of the weight of the thing. So I'm going to put like one on each sort of point, I guess you could say. And let's try that. I'm going to just jump into my house right now. Oop. Can I get into my house? I can't really get into my house. That's fine though. I'll just sit in the chair. Oh no, I can't sit in the chair because I need to unfreeze the bottom. Oops. Right, we're just going to have to go for it. There we go. Unfreeze. Oh, it worked! Get in the chair. Oh, I'm in. Oh, yes. Oh, the up guy has nothing on this house. Wow, these things go high. Are we going to hit the roof? Are we still going up? I think we are. Oh, my God. That actually scared me. <laughs> okay, so I think we've hit the roof of the world. Um, okay, so... So that's good, let me just get out of my seat. Oh god. Okay, so I'm now on the roof. 
the only way to get down is to sacrifice our balloons, much like the film up. Are we going down? Uh oh, I fell off my house. Oh, it's falling, it's falling. Ow. I want to try and get the last two. Epic snipe. Oh, I missed it. I think I got it. <laughs> Jesus. I have a bad feeling this house is going to not end up well. And gently down. There you go. Perfect landing, perfect house. And that is how you use the balloon tool. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you tune in next time. We'll be having a look at the buoyancy tool. That's great fun, that one. So tune in for that, and I will see you in the next video.